Alright guys, welcome back. Uh, we're going to be drawing those stop structures again and um, if you need to you may watch the other videos to help you along to figure out what we're doing. But uh, we're going to be using the end chart and we're going to determine the molecular geometry, the orbital, the orbital geometry, the hybridization, the axis notation. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and get started. Now, you're going to need some handouts. Um, you'll need a periodic table, and you'll need this handout, uh, 6A, which explains the orbital geometries and the hybridizations and everything. It's on my web website. It's handout 6A on my website, and um, on it you can um, download it and print it off, and you can use it uh, you know, for your problems. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, the problem that we're going to be uh, dealing with tonight is, let me turn my camera on, is going to be SO2, sulfur dioxide, SO2. Now, let's go ahead and create the EN chart, E, A, and N. Let's list the elements. You have sulfur, which is one of them, and you have two oxygens, one, two. Now in the earlier videos I explained to you that A is the number of valence electrons. Sulfur is in column 16 on the periodic table. If you notice, let's bring up the uh, periodic table. Looks like I haven't opened it up yet, so we need to do that. Uh, the periodic table is right here. Uh, you'll see uh, the, on the periodic table, uh, sulfur is in column 16. I'll make it full screen for you. Alright, column 16 for sulfur. So let's go back to the uh, camera. Once I find out which one that is, there we go. Uh, it's in column 16, so we're going to go ahead and put a 6 here. And on oxygen, it's also in the same column. It's in column 16, so that's 6. They all need 8. You add this up, the total of A is 6, 6, and 6. That's 6 times 3 is 18. 3 eighths. The total of that is 24. You subtract these two to get the shared amount. Uh, 24 minus 8 is 6. Notice that the number of bonds, half of 6, is 3. That's 3 bonds. And the number of non-bonding electrons is A minus S, which is 12. So, let's go ahead and use this information here to draw our structure. Uh, sulfur will be our um, predetermined central atom. I got two oxygen, so I'll probably just put one on the right and one on the left. Now, I need a minimum of two bonds to get things attached. But if you notice here, I've got more than I need. So what that means is I've got to, I've got to place a double bond somewhere. Now, since you have a choice here, either to put one on the left or one on the right, you're going to have a resonance structure. Okay, So here, I'll place the double bond here. Now, since I had a choice, I have to show the other possible structure that could have been made. Just put a double-headed arrow and just draw the structure again, but this time draw the other possibility where you could have put the double bond. And the other place I could have put the double bond was here. Now this is known as resonance. Okay, this is a resonance structure. So basically, you have this when you have a double bond. <laughs> uh, I mean, honestly, when when you have a double bond, you need to start being uh, very leery with the with the structure and say, I need to make sure that I don't have resonance. Anyway, let's go ahead and give everything an octet. This has four on this O two two. It's four two and four, so it needs four dots. This O only has two, so it needs six dots. Okay, It now has an octet. This has an octet. But the sulfur itself is short. It doesn't have an octet. It's only got two, four, six. So we need to give it two dots. Now if you look, that's two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. We use the three bonds and we use the twelve non-bonding electrons. Just go ahead and make sure that you put the dots, uh, make this almost identical except you know, flip-flopped for this one. Now, that's it for the drawings, but we need to make a list. Uh, we need to figure out the molecular geometry. Well, this is where some people have problems. Uh, notice here that you have uh, two bonds. You know, one is a double bond and one is a single bond. 
So the total number of types of bonds uh, that are available for us is two. So this is a two count. Okay, and we have one lone pair on the central atom. So we're going to look geometry wise for something that's a two one. Now this is where that handout six A from unit three will come in handy. This one. Now if you notice um, here okay if you can see this notice here that uh, two one its shape is bent okay it's a bent shape so even though that we've drawn it we've drawn a little bit incorrectly but this is the way it should look but still that's okay cuz look uh, we know all of the following we know its molecular geometry is bent so molecular geometry is bent we know its axe notation is AX2E we know it even its bond angles are 120 degrees we know its hybridization is sp2 and its orbital geometry is trigonal planar so we know all that so we could just record that on our sheet of paper and we would be done so anyway now let me go ahead and just write those down for you uh, as far as what we're looking for even though you could do this yourself uh, we need the axe Okay, we need the hybridization. We need uh, what was the other one? Oh, we need to know if it's polar or nonpolar. We need to know uh, molecular geometry. And we need to know orbital. I hope that's all. Uh, once again, look up 2 1. That will tell you this. 2 1, once again, is bent on the molecular geometry. Once again, its axe notation is AX2E. Uh, Hybridization, SP2. And notice that it's white all the way through here, so it's non, uh, it's polar. I about said nonpolar. That would have been bad. It's polar, and its orbital geometry is trigonal planar. So, just so you can see what I've done. On mine, I've made sure to list those: orbital geometry is trigonal planar, molecular geometry is bent. Uh, it's polar, it's sp2, it's axe notation is ax2e. Now, I hope this was helpful. Uh, if not, just watch it again over and over and over and look at the chart and you should be set. So, anyway guys, I hope that uh, this uh, tutorial has helped you just like the other tutorials that I've done on this. So, just watch it over and over and over and just remember to come back and view any more new videos. Alright guys.